another subject, singleness. God sets the lonely in families. He leads forth the prisoners with singing, but the rebellious live in a sun-parched land. You know, the church is made up of families. If you're single and lonely, join a good church. Psalm 68 and verse six. Jesus said, surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Matthew 28 and 20. Yet I'm always with you, O Lord, you hold me by your right hand. Psalm 73 and verse 23. I will betroth you to me forever. I will betroth you in righteousness and justice, in love and compassion. I will betroth you in faithfulness and you will acknowledge the Lord. Hosea 2, 19 to 20. To the unmarried and the widows I say, it is good for them to stay unmarried as I am. 1 Corinthians 7 verse 8. That's the Apostle Paul speaking, not me. <laughs> your maker is your husband. The Lord Almighty is his name. The Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer. He is called the God of all the earth. Isaiah 54 and verse 5. I would like you to be free from concern. An unmarried man is concerned about the Lord's affairs, how he can please the Lord. 1 Corinthians 7 and verse 32. An unmarried woman or virgin is concerned about the Lord's affairs. Her aim is to be devoted to the Lord in both body and spirit. But a married woman is concerned about the affairs of this world how she may please her husband. I'm saying this for your own good, not to restrict you, but that you may live in a right way, in undivided devotion to the Lord. 1 Corinthians 7, 34 to 35. 